Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at the safest way to keep your files hidden and secure, whether you want to keep them secure and hidden on a USB flash drive or in a place on your PC. So let's go ahead and get VeraCrypt. Now, we did a video on this the other day. More people wanted to see some more stuff with VeraCrypt. So here you go. All you need to do is head over to the link in the video description, download the VeraCrypt uh, EXE installer for Windows or for Mac OS or Linux, depending on what operating system you're using. We're using Windows 11 here, so we're going to go ahead and download the correct version for our PC. So what is a hidden volume? Well, the standard VeraCrypt volume will have the header of the standard volume and the space occupied by the files and the free space containing the random data, whereas the hidden volume is going to be completely different. It's basically going to have two uh, volumes in one. So you're going to have one container and another hidden one inside there, which are both encrypted and both passworded. So it's going to be impossible uh, to gain access to these uh, hidden volumes uh, because basically you'll see the first volume, which what which is what you're going to give that person if they force uh, you to give up your password for that hidden uh, container. They don't realize there's another hidden one in there. And we'll explain that a little bit more in detail when I show you how it works. So let's go ahead and get it set up. So I've got a folder here with VeraCrypt in it. I'm going to go ahead and get this installed. Now, we're not going to install it on the PC. We're going to actually use it as a portable application on our USB flash drive. So if you install it, it's going to install it on wherever you want to install it. But we're going to extract it and use it as a portable application on our USB flash drive because that is where we're going to have our hidden volume. So let's go ahead and hit the extract and we can now go to the next button and move to the next process. Now, just remember that this is our USB flash drive, which I've got named secure here. You're not going to be calling this secure or hidden folders or anything like that because you want to keep it uh, completely uh, hidden from the person that is looking at your data. So use some obscure names, which they're not going to actually know. So let's go ahead and see the message that pops up here. Say yes to this. And we now need to install this onto our USB flash drive. So let's navigate here. Now, if you don't create a folder to install the portable VeraCrypt application onto your USB flash drive like this, it's just going to be a big mess and you're going to end up with a load of files on there. And that's not what I want. So what I'm going to do is go to my USB flash drive and create a folder on here. You can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call this one here VeraCrypt and basically install the program into this folder. It'll just keep things a little bit more tidy and we will be able to uh, know where our VeraCrypt is. So I'm just going to quickly rebrowse to this location here. Click OK. And uh, what we're going to do is extract this now. So this will take a bit of time. Extract it to that location. And that means we can run this at any time on any machine. It's portable. You can use the donation here if you wish to donate to the creator. Now we've got a folder full of files which has all the VeraCrypt inside here. So what we want to do is create a shortcut for veracrypt.exe and we're going to put this onto a USB flash drive as well outside of this folder so we don't have to go sifting through this uh, load of files here. So let's go ahead and copy this and put this into our USB flash drive here. There we go. Now you can hide that folder if you want to by just right clicking it and hiding it so you don't see it. If that's what you want to do, you can do. But we'll just leave that as is. And what we're going to do now is we need to open up our VeraCrypt. So click on this and you should see the gray box popping up here. Now we need to choose a drive letter. I tend to go for the drive letters like XYZ because these are very rarely used by Windows. We're going to create a volume. So click on the create a volume button. And now we have the option to uh, create an encrypted file container. Now, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to create a container basically on our USB flash drive. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, if you want to see some videos on these other options, then let me know in the comments section and I'll do my best to make those videos for you. But for this one, we're going to create an encrypted file container. Now, we're not going to be doing the standard VeraCrypt volume this time. We did that in our previous video. This time, we're going to be doing the hidden VeraCrypt volume. Now it says here, it may happen that you're forced by someone to reveal your password to an encrypted volume. 
you can then give them the password to the encrypted volume because you know your hidden one is also there, which they won't see. So let's go ahead and create normal mode. If you select this option, the wizard will go through and help you set it up. Now we need to create our volume location. We're never going to save the history here. So I'm going to go to our USB drive here and we're going to go to secure and we're going to give this a name for our container. So we can call yours whatever you like. Let's just go ahead and select a name here. Now, obviously, you're not going to call it secret, but we'll call this secret folder just like this. Now, you could literally select a folder or a file and use that icon, which can actually uh, convince people that that is an actual file. So that's another option you can do. So click next. And this is the out of volume that we're going to create here. We're going to use the encryption algorithm AES, which is perfectly fine. And we're going to also have the SHA-512. Go next. And again, what we need to do is give this a size. So remember, the size of this volume will be important. So if I give this one gigabyte, that means the inside hidden container can't be no more than one gigabyte. So it can only be as large as the size that you create the outer volume. So make sure you select which size you want here. I'm just going to use one gigabyte for this video. Now, this is the password that we're going to use here. You should use a 20 character password to make it nice and secure. So go ahead and give this a nice secure password, not something like this, which is very simple, which I'm doing for this tutorial. And then what we can do here is click next. If the password is too easy to uh, brute force or crack, it will warn you saying the password is very short. So you can see here, they recommend choosing a password consistent at least 20 characters with other symbols and characters inside their uh, capitals and things like that, uppercase, lowercase, and all that sort of stuff. So once we've got this done, we can now wiggle our mouse into this area here. You can choose the size. Now, don't go choosing NTFS here because the size of the volume is very small and you'll get this warning message popping up here. So make sure you're using, say, XFAT or FAT for a small little volume like one gigabyte uh, or megabytes if you're going to be choosing a smaller one. So you'll see here it gives you a little note and a warning saying use either FAT or XFAT. OK, just wanted to show you that bit because people get confused and they might see that error. So choose something like this if you're using a small uh, volume. Click format and it will then create a format volume for us. And now we can open up our outer volume. This is the one that you don't mind giving up to the person who is asking you for your password for that hidden volume. You're not going to give him the hidden volume password. You're going to be given the password for this container, which you're going to put dummy uh, content in. So it convinces the person that they've gained access to your actual hidden volume, which they haven't. So let's go ahead and put some content in here. And remember, this is our outer volume. So you can keep content inside here that you're not too concerned about. And this is the stuff that you're going to give up the password to if they want to uh, gain access to that container. This is what they're going to see. So, you know, put some dummy account stuff in here, make it look convincing. And we're going to also create another hidden volume as well, which they're not going to know. So let's go ahead and move on to the next button here and go next. It's going to go ahead and open up the hidden volume option here now. And this is the volume that you're not going to be giving anyone your password to. Now, remember, both of these are encrypted anyway, so they're not going to gain access to them. It's only if someone forces you to give you the password over. AES is perfectly fine. Same again. And now we're going to be using, say, megabytes, and we'll give this, say, 500 megabytes here as well for our hidden volume. So let's go ahead and give it, say, 500 megabytes of our one gigabyte that we have. And then we can go ahead and click on next. And this will create uh, the amount of data that we want to put in there, say, 500. So if you need more, then create a bigger size, as long as it's not bigger than the size that you created the outer volume for. Hidden volume password needs to be secure also, and this needs to be 20 characters or more. I'm just going to use a short one here, but it will warn me it's easy to crack and brute force. Again, choose XFAT or FAT. So 
We're going to generate a random pool here by just wiggling our mouse over this little area. And this again, this is not going to be you know, possible to crack or anything like that. It's going to be impossible to actually gain access. So once this is done, it's going to create our hidden volume. And you can see here, the hidden volume has now been created successfully. So now we can exit out of here because we finished with VeraCrypt. And what we're going to do is go and put some content inside our hidden container. So let's go ahead and exit out. And I'll show you how this all works. Now we've got the outer volume done and the hidden volume done as well. So I'm going to go back to my USB flash drive here. And this is the flash drive. When you plug it into any computer, you will see something looking like this. Obviously, you're not going to use secret folder as a name. And you can use an icon if you wanted to, to blend it in with other data on that drive. So what we're going to do is we'll mount this and I'll show you how it all works. Very simple, but very effective. So click on the shortcut inside your USB flash drive. Choose a volume uh, drive letter. Again, I like to use the ones further down. And what we need to do here is select the file or the container that we want to open or mount. So I'm going to select this one, which is going to be called our, our secret folder. So go to our USB flash drive, select this and click open. We've now got this here. Now you've got the option to mount it and you will be asked to give them your password. Now you've got two passwords, the outer volume and the hidden one. So to open the outer one, I'm just going to give them the outer volume here and this will then mount it and you can now see it has been mounted and this will give us access to those dummy accounts so this is our dummy hidden container and now they think they've got access to this encrypted uh, volume but there's also a hidden one in here so let's dismount it and we're going to mount it again but this time we're going to use our hidden password for our hidden volume Let's go ahead and put this one in. It's going to be different, the password, to our outer volume. Now this will then mount it. And it does take a bit of time because it's just going to go through and check in. You should see hidden here now. Type hidden. And this is the hidden volume. Again, this is, you won't be able to crack this or brute force your way in here. And again, this is where we can put our sensitive information inside here. Let's just create a quick text document inside here, call it top secret, and put in a, a bit of text called passwords in here. This can be all your passwords and other things like this, or your other sensitive information that you want to store in the hidden volume. So remember, we've got two volumes here. So let's go ahead and now we can dismount, and I'll do it one more time. Now we've got two lots of content in two different uh, volumes here. One the outer volume and one the hidden volume. So let's mount it and open up the first volume, which has got our data in it, our dummy data. Quickly show you this. There we go. It's the same drive letter, drive R. And what we're going to do is dismount again and now go into our hidden one. So I'm going to mount it and put in how hidden volume and click OK here. And this should show us the text document with the uh, passwords in there. So let's have a look. Once this is done, it should take us back to the drive letter R. And inside here, we now have our top secret password files. Very simple and easy to do. And you never ever give them the hidden volume password. You only ever give them the outer volume container password. And that way they think they're clever and they've cracked it by brute forcing their way in or asking you to give up your password, you only ever give them the one that you want to give them and not the hidden one. Anyway, that is going to be about it. When you look at your actual USB flash drive, you'll see just this information here. And they won't be able to gain access to this at all because it's encrypted. And again, it's unpenetrable. You will not be able to get in there. So make sure you don't lose your passwords. Otherwise, you run the risk of losing your data. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed this sort of content. If you do, then let me know in the comment section below what you want to see next, and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really appreciate the support, and I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat or in the very next video. Bye for now.